Hello, hello! My name is Miss Thompson and I am your new art and music teacher here at Gilliland Elementary. I am so excited to get to know you better this year as we sing and create and do all kinds of fun things. Now, I know this year starts a little bit different because we are doing some distance learning, but that's okay. We can still get to know each other better. And that leads us into our first art project. So let's get started. All right, friends, let's get started. Here is our art project for today. We are going to create a self portrait. A self portrait is where you draw a picture of yourself as the main subject. Now, the sneaky thing is on the inside, I'm going to tell you all about the things that I love. I love painting. I love singing. I love pasta and books and camping. But most of all, I love bees. Now, you are going to create your very own book so that I can get to know you better. You're going to need some supplies for our project today. You're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, some crayons, and if you want, you're going to need a marker. Now, you can use a Sharpie or you can just use a Crayola marker. It's up to you. I do want to say that when I'm showing you your instructions, my pencil doesn't really show up well on the paper. So I am going to draw with marker, but you are going to draw with pencil because you can erase it. Does that make sense? Okay, let's get started. Our first step is to fold our paper like a book. This is the horizontal edge of our paper, and this is the vertical edge of our paper. We are going to take one vertical edge and fold it so that it meets the other edge, just like this. So you will carefully line up your edges, punch, and press, just like that. So now you have a book, okay? So let's get started by drawing our self-portrait. Before I like to make a mark on my paper, I like to practice the line with my finger. The first line I'm going to make is kind of like a U shape, like this. And that's going to be my face. So I'm just going to practice it. Okay, I think I'm ready. Now, remember, you are going to use a pencil, but I'm going to show you by using a marker, okay? So now I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to draw a big open letter U. And that is going to be the start to my face. Pretty good, right? I want my face to take up a lot of space on the paper, which is why I did that letter U so big. Don't be afraid to make your mark on the paper. There's no such thing as mistakes in art, just some happy accidents. Now it's time to draw my neck. So I'm going to go to the bottom of my shape here and draw two kind of curvy lines like that to make my neck, right? Now I need some ears. It's kind of hard to hear without any ears. So I'm going to do two little macaroni shapes on either side of my head, just like that. Now, my next step is hair. Your hair can look very different from my hair. My hair is long and curly. Your hair can be long and straight, short and spiky, right? Maybe it has some waves in it. It's up to you to determine how you want to draw your hair. I'm going to 
draw some like cloud looking shapes, some W shapes for the start of my hair. Like that. But you can draw yours however you want. There we go, there's my hair. Now I need to finish my shoulders. Okay, so your shoulders are right about here. And they're what you hold your head on. <laughs> so I'm just going to, some of my hair is, my, my shoulder is hidden by my hair. So I'm gonna practice trying with my finger. Make a line like this and come down. Line like this and come down. Now, if it's easier for you, because you're drawing with a pencil, you can draw straight through your hair if it comes over your shoulders and have it come straight down like that. But I'm drawing in marker so you can see it better. So I'm gonna draw my little shirt sleeves and my arms, just like that. And there's my body. Now it's time to draw our face. If I'm going too fast for you, it is okay to hit pause on the video until you're ready to keep going. That's totally fine. Everyone moves at their own pace. So if you're ready, I'm going to move on to my face. I'm gonna start by drawing my eyes. And I think I want some happy eyes because it's the first day of school and I'm happy. I'm going to do a shape like that, a shape like that, and they are one finger apart. That helps you. Okay, so like two sideways C's. C, C. And then I'm going to close this shape with a straight line. There you go. Then I'm going to draw my iris. The iris is that colorful part in your eye. There we go. Then I'm going to do a dot at the center of each one for my pupil. The pupil is the black spot at the center of our eye that helps us see. Now, my face needs a little bit more work. I'm gonna add some eyebrows. So I'm just going to draw two slightly curved lines like that for my eyebrows. Okay, now for my nose. I think I'm just going to do another curvy line like we did with the eyebrows, but upside down, just like that. And that will be my nose. Now it's time for my mouth. Hopefully that will make my face look a little bit more normal. So I'm gonna draw a big, wide, happy smile. Ta-da! <laughs> but you can draw yours however you want. I think I need to add some things inside my mouth, like a tongue. So I can draw another little M shape for my tongue and one more curved line for my teeth. That looks better. Now, I wear glasses and maybe you do too. So if you wanna add glasses like mine or maybe some sunglasses, you're going to draw a little square shape over maybe more of a rectangle over each eye like this. Rectangle, rectangle, and you're gonna connect them like that. And then draw a line to your ears. But you 
don't want to dry your glasses, that's okay with me too. This is your self-portrait. So once you're done with your outline, then it's time to color. But before we do that, I want to write my name on the top. Now, if you need help writing your name, you can ask your parents or someone that's at home with you to help you. But I'm just going to write it right up here. Miss Miss Thompson, that's me. Okay, let's add some color. I'm gonna use my crayons and I think I'm going to start with my skin. So I'm gonna choose the color I want to use and I'm going to start coloring in. But before we do, let's talk about coloring techniques. When we color, it is helpful if we choose a direction to color in and use that same direction all the way down. So for example, wait a minute, I need a shirt color. Here we go, that looks better. So I'm gonna start coloring like this. And notice how my crayon is moving the same direction. I'm not going like this, like that, like that, like that. We want to make sure we choose one direction to color in and stick to it. That makes our coloring nice and tidy. We also wanna make sure we try to color inside the lines. This self-portrait is a good way to practice that. Trying to be careful and go all the way to the edge of my line so I don't leave any white space. There we go. Now it's time for my hair. And this is a great chance for you to add some texture to your art. Texture is the way that something feels. Like this table is smooth, my pencil is bumpy. Those are all textures. Now in art, we sometimes use something called implied texture. That means that it looks like it should feel a certain way, but when you touch it, it's still smooth. So to create that texture, like of my hair, which is curly, I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to start doing some spirals like this to let you know that it's supposed to be curly. If your hair is straight, you can do some straight curvy lines. If your hair is spiky, you can go up and down like this, however you want to. It's your hair for your self-portrait. So I'm just going to draw some curly cues like this. And then I'm just going to kind of carefully shade in the rest so there's no white parts left in my hair. And I'm choosing one direction for my crayon to go in and sticking to it. Okay, now I think I'm going to take my black crayon and add a couple more curls. Not too many. Just giving my piece some emphasis. There we go. Now, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to finish coloring in my self-portrait. You can pause as well and finish coloring in yours. When you're ready, press play and we'll keep going. Okay, so my character is done being colored. I chose to add a little decal to my shirt. You can draw whatever you want. You can
can draw the symbol for your favorite sports team. You can draw your favorite Fortnite character. You can do whatever you'd like to do. This is your self-portrait to help us get to know you better. Now it's time to add a background. Here is what I used in my example. I just drew a bunch of triangles and colored it in. But maybe this time I want to do stripes. So I like stripes. I'm going to take my marker. You can use your marker if you want, or you can use your pencil and cut and draw in pencil and then color over it in marker if that's easier for you. And I'm going to draw some stripes. Not too many. Just something to make my background a little bit more interesting. Okay, I think maybe one more. Here we go. I'm going to take a moment and color in my background. You can color in your background however you want. You can add anything you like. This is your time to be creative. So pause your video, and when you're ready and your background is finished, press play. Okay, here is my background. I just did alternating colors of orange and blue, orange and blue, orange and blue, like a pattern. But I can't wait to see what pattern you chose to do for your background. All right, now it is time for the inside. I'm going to use the sentence starter, I love. And then I'm going to draw all the things that I love so that you can get to know me better. So let's write this together. I, when we write the word I by itself, it's always a capital. I, just like that. Okay, now let's write the word love. What sounds do you hear at the beginning of the word love? Ooh. Good, L, love. I love. And then I'm going to do a dot, dot, dot. That parentheses means that I'm trailing off. I love, and then I'm going to draw all the things I love. Now, your piece, you're going to draw all of your favorite things, the things that you love. It could be your family, it could be your dog, it could be your cat, it could be your favorite video game, your favorite sports team, your favorite flower. Just tell me about you so I can get to know you better. In my example, from the beginning, I said that I love painting, singing, pasta, books, camping, bees, and there are so many more things that I love, but that was just a few. So take some time and you are going to make your list and color it in as well so that we can share together all the things that we love. I really, really, really loved creating with you today. And I cannot wait to see all of your creativity and the pieces that you finish. All right, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.